I remember a time where I could stand for long periods of time without it bothering my feet. And I could hike for long distances and it wouldn't bother my knees. And if that's you, then this product is not for you. But for everyone else, maybe you're entering your mid-30s, maybe you've had a foot surgery or two, or a knee surgery or two, like some of us. <laughs> then this product is probably for you. This is known as the Walk Stool. It is a Swedish product, and it is a really awesome investment to make if you are gonna be spending a lot of time on your feet or in the great outdoors. So let's go ahead and give you a rundown on this product and give you an unbiased third-party review of what I think of this. And if you are interested in purchasing this product, I'll leave a link in the description box down below where you can find it. So first and foremost, how did I get this product? So I was at a European trade show, it's known as EWA, it was a couple of months ago, and I walked up to this booth and there was a, a man sitting at one of these stools and there's a bunch of different sizes and I kind of sat that down there with him and we talked about uh, his product and he ended up giving me this one and I'll tell you why I went with this size here momentarily. So I've been using this for the last couple of months. I've been hiking with it, I'm taking my dog on a walk with it and I even used it during that trade show event. And I'm happy to say that I really like this and I'll be talking about like who I think this product is good for as well as some of its, of its features. So the specifications first and foremost is that it is very lightweight, especially for the height of this. So I got the 55 centimeter, AKA 22 inch version and it weighs only 32 ounces, which is 900 grams. And so it's extremely lightweight, it's very mobile. So you can either put it in the backpack that it comes in, or you can do what I do, which is either loop this Velcro strip through your belt loop, or hang this nylon a loop off of your belt itself. So this can sustain 495 pounds of weight. I don't know what happened at the 500 pound mark, but you know, don't put 500 pounds on this and you'll be fine, which means that it can also hold 225 kilograms or kilos as they say. Let me go ahead and open it up so you guys can see how it extends. So here it is fully extended and you can see as a comparison with one of the cheap $15 ones that you can buy like an outdoor store, you can see the, dis the difference in the size of I'll put the cheap one in the description box down below as well because I have no loyalty. <laughs> one of my favorite features of this walk stool is this mesh right here. You can see I have a light source behind this. So it has these tiny little openings and that's going to allow airflow. Now compare it to one of the cheap ones, you know, uh, you know that's going to last you a little while before you get uncomfortable, especially in the, the, the summer months. Um, but in addition to it being nice and breathable, the material is going to bead the water. So, you know, if it does rain or whatever, you can just kind of flick it off. You know, then that works obviously with snow or anything else like that. And of course it is a stool, so you can just kind of shake it out or whatnot. Now in the bottom, the, the feet of the, of the stool has this moldable rubber, real tough material. And even though I've used it on the trail several times, you can see that it has not done any damage uh, to the stool itself. One of the legs does stick, so a little bit of oil and a little bit of um, basic maintenance is going to keep this going for a long time. You can actually still sit on it if it's the 55 centimeter version. It can still bring you off the ground enough that you can utilize this. You with keeping a correct posture and your back straight and everything, you can still use this stool whilst the legs are collapsed on the 55 centimeter version of it, which I think is really cool because I have used it in this capacity for filming as well as just taking a break and it felt good just to take a little bit of a, of a break. So I thought that was kind of a unique feature that I have not seen in other stools. And now that I've collapsed this again, you can see that the size difference between this one and this one. So this one is, is still more collapsed. And by the way, these will still extend. If 
if you don't do this final twist right here, um, now you can see that those legs are not going to be coming out. But anyways, it is nice and compact. Even though this is a shorter stool, this still is more compact than, than the cheap one. So I keep calling that one the cheap one. The final thing that I do have to say about this stool is that it is expensive. So it's 85 euros, which is around 100 US dollars. Um, if you get this version of it, there is a smaller version. Like I said, there, there's a larger version too, but if you're like me, then you are budgeting your money for things that are important. And one of the things that's very important in life is investing in something that separates you from the ground. All right guys, so in closing, I will say that yes, this is a little bit pricey, but from my own experience, uh, hiking with my wife, even though she thought it was kind of a silly thing to have strapped to me, uh, now whenever we take breaks, we kind of are fighting over who gets to sit in the walk stool, which is kind of funny. But so I'm just trying to tell you that I, I do think that is it, it is expensive, but I can you can feel the materials compared to you know the the cheap one over here. Um, it is something that is going to last you for a while and you're going to really enjoy having. And you can sit in this for a long period of time without it bothering you. And then obviously you can hike with it a long period of time without it affecting what you're doing. But I'd still love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. And like I said earlier, I'll leave a link for where you can find this in the description box down below as well. Y'all stay safe out there and remember it pays to be prepared. God bless.